Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of Curator's Corner. I'm Jeff Seymour, a historian and curator here at the National Civil War Naval Museum. Well, today we've got a special guest with us. This is Grady Barnwell. He is one of our great volunteers. And Grady, uh, you are a Navy doctor. Retired. Reti right. Retired, of course. Uh -huh. Well, Grady has built over the last few months this wonderful model here on the table and it is of what's called picket boat number one so this is a this is a navy boat this was uh, a steam launch steam and launch. Uh -huh. steam launch which william b cushing used to take a small group of men up the roanoke river to sink the css albemarle and of course this is very important to our own collection here at the museum uh, one of our exhibit halls has a reproduction of the CSS Albemarle, and this will actually fit in our exhibit in the telling of that story very well. Well, Grady, tell us about the model and some of the things that you did, some of the background work, the research, and so forth that you put into creating this. Okay. Well, I've been a volunteer here for a little over a year, and shortly after I became a volunteer uh, and became familiar with the Albemarle and the sinking of the Albemarle, uh, a model ship company called Model Expo came out with this model. Uh, before I was here as a volunteer, I wouldn't have, you know, related the model with the museum or the Albemarle or anything else. But once I once I started volunteering and I saw the model, and I said, "Well, I'll go ahead and get that model and see how it looks." So I ordered the model. Um, they, this is a company that makes all kinds of models. I've made a number of their models in the past. And this, well, how long have you been doing modeling? Well, I've been doing modeling about 20 years. Okay. And the first model I ever made was from this company, called Model Expo. Um, and I, I've had made some models from that company and some from others. But um, when 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 you get a model. Um, the good thing is all parts are more or less cut out. Uh, if you build it from scratch, then you've got to take paper or black blueprints and you have to transfer those to uh, wooden, whatever wood you're going to cut out, and then you have to cut it out on a band saw or a coping saw. So that has a lot of construction time. Right. So I can show you, this is what the, the frames came in a uh, laser cut uh, pattern like this and you just break these out and uh, you have to kind of sand the edges so they'll fit properly but you can see the frames along the uh, side of the below the, the railing of the, on the inside the, and then once the frames are in place um, you, you do the planking and, and this is a particular kind of model called a plank on frame model okay. as opposed to a solid a model which you know a lot of models are made with a solid piece of wood and you just carve out the wood so what you're actually doing is recreating a process of shipbuilding very much so yeah uh -huh. as a matter of fact the planking uh, you have to fit each plank uh, because you know you have an irregular shape and you have to fit each plank to fit and you do a process called splining, which uh, uses a, a, a compass and a, you draw the outline from one plank to the next and then you cut it out so it'll fit. And uh, the steam engine has a lot of little uh, parts which were uh, part of this brass plate that it was also photo etched. And of course you, this would be very, very difficult if you were trying to do it from scratch, but the kit came with this, uh, these little uh, cut out, or little etched pieces, and these can be broken out and shaped to the right size. So it's much easier uh, to construct like the steam engine and the boiler. You have the boiler and you have the steam dome, and then you have the steam pipe going back to the engine. And uh, uh, this uh, the, the plans show you how to, how the the engine should look, and it does. You know, it takes a little while to figure that all out. And overall, how long did it take you to complete the model? 
Well, I probably started on it uh, about a year or so ago. Okay. Once again, this is Jeff Seymour at the National Civil War Naval Museum. And once again, thank you to Mr. Grady Barnwell for his fantastic work and working with us to put this model on display. Thank you, sir.